What's up, everybody? Today, I have replaced the best player on every NBA team with that team's greatest player of all time. So let's go ahead and check out who is no longer on the team and who we now have on the team, starting with the 76ers. Joel Embiid is off the team, and Allen Iverson is their greatest player. For the Bucks, we got rid of Giannis and got Kareem. For the Bulls, we got rid of Zach Levine and got Michael Jordan. For the Cavs, we got rid of Jared Allen and got LeBron James. For the Celtics, we got rid of Jason Tatum, got Larry Bird. For the Clippers, Kawhi was actually the greatest player on the all-time Clipper roster, so he's going to stay on the team, and they just have the same team that they have now. For the Grizzlies, we got rid of John Morant and now have Marcus Saul. For the Hawks, we got rid of Trey Young, got Dominique Wilkins. Heat, we got rid of Jimmy Butler, now have LeBron. So two LeBrons in the NBA now. For the Hornets, we got rid of Lamella Ball, got Glenn Rice. Jazz got rid of Donovan Mitchell, got John Stockton. Kings got rid of De'Aaron Fox, got Oscar Robertson. Knicks got rid of Julius Randle, got Walt Frazier. Lakers got rid of LeBron, got Magic Johnson. Magic got rid of Jonathan Isaac got Penny Hardaway. Mavs got rid of Luka, got Dirk. Nets got rid of KD, got Julius Irving. Nuggets got rid of Jokic, got Carmelo. Pacers got rid of Sabonis, got Reggie Miller. Pelicans got rid of Zion, got Chris Paul. Pistons got rid of Jeremy Grant, got Isaiah Thomas. Raptors get rid of Siakam, get Vince Carter. Rockets got rid of John Wall and got Hakeem. Spurs got rid of DeJounte Murray, got Tim Duncan. Suns got rid of Chris Paul, got Steve Nash. Thunder got rid of S. GA got Kevin Durant. Timberwolves got rid of Cat, got Kevin Garnett. Blazers got rid of Lillard, got Clyde Drexler. Warriors got rid of Steph, got Wilt Chamberlain. And lastly, the Wizards got rid of Bradley Beal and got Wes Unsell. So those are all our new teams. Leave a comment below on who you think is going to win. Still, the Nets have a super overpowered team. Uh, but let's get right into the simulation. Making it to the all-star draft, our two captains are Kevin Garnett and LeBron James. Not who I expected. LeBron actually gets in over Michael Jordan. Let's go ahead and auto draft these teams. Starting off on Garnett's team, we got Kareem, Jordan, Magic, and Carmelo starting with Wilt Hakeem, Dr. J, Durant, Walt Frazier, Isaiah Thomas, and James Harden on the bench. I believe James Harden is the only current NBA player on any of these all-star teams. For Team LeBron, uh, we got LeBron and LeBron starting, Oscar Robertson, Tim Duncan, and Penny Hardaway. For the reserves, you got Larry, Dirk, John Stockton, Steve Nash, Clyde Drexler, Vince Carter, and Wes Unseld. MVP ends up going to Oscar Robertson. He gets a triple-double with 29.8. But Jalen Green gets Rookie of the Year. Thaddeus Young, Sixth Man of the Year. LeBron James gets uh, Defensive Player of the Year. He had 2.1 steals per game. He also almost had a triple-double. Just didn't get there for rebounds. Talon Horton Tucker, Most Improved. And Nate McMillan is coach of the year. Going over to all NBA teams now. First team, we got Oscar, Magic, Garnett, LeBron, and Kareem on the first team. No Michael Jordan on the first team, but he does make the second team with Clyde Drexler. We got LeBron again, Durant, and Hakeem. And on the third team, we got Penny, Nash, Tim Duncan, Dr. J, and Wilt. Uh, here's our all defensive first team. We got two LeBrons on the all defensive first team. That's pretty funny. And on the second team, uh, here's everybody. Rudy Gobert, uh, the only current player, I believe, on these All-NBA teams. Actually, Ben Simmons got on the All-NBA team as well. Or All-Defensive team, should I say. Also, what is wrong with John Stockton's face in that photo? Why, why did they make him look like that? All right, let's check out these league leaders now. Durant with a huge season, 35.3 points per game. I mean, his team is pretty bad, so he would be taking a lot of shots during the season. We had LeBron and Clyde both getting over 30 points. Oscar Robertson was so close. And there's so many guys that put up big numbers. We had 18 guys with over 25 points per game. Rebounds per game, it was Kevin Garnett leading. He had 17. Assists per game, so many players with over 10. Steve Nash, Stockton, Magic, Oscar Robertson, LeBron, LeBron again, and Chris Paul. Seven players with over 10 assists per game. Usually in these simulations, we might get one or two players, uh, but this time with seven steals per game, John Stockton with 2.7. Same with MJ. Uh, for blocks per game, we had Rudy Gobert, who's actually a current player. Uh, doing the best. Also, Bam up here as well in third. Turnovers per game. 
he should go and look at this but oscar and john stockton and chris ball all with 3.6 uh, we had larry bird with the best three point percentage the only player to shoot over 50 percent. he was pretty far up there ahead of uh seth curry who was second i guess there's no steph curry in the league anymore because he got replaced by will then jeremy lamb i guess it really doesn't matter had the best free throw percentage okay so hopping into the playoffs now i did simulate the play attorneys in the west it was the timberwolves and lakers making it out and in the it was the chicago bulls as well as the miami heat so the jordan team and the lebron team both making playoffs hopefully we got to see those two face off in the playoffs that'd be pretty cool uh let's go ahead and start off by just simulating the first round here and see what happens all right so starting off in the west we got the pelicans and timberwolves moving on big upset for the timberwolves there and the kings and trailblazers moving on um a little surprising but uh, kings actually had the second seed in the west in the east the hawks defeated the bulls celtics defeated the Cavs. so one lebron is out and michael jordan is out of the playoffs and then the Nets and Heat face off. And making our way to the conference finals now, we have the Kings and Timberwolves in the West. Definitely not the two teams that I thought would have made it here. And in the East, it's the Hawks and the Heat. Also did not expect the Hawks to be this good. Game five, Kings versus Timberwolves. We got a pretty close one here. Timberwolves up by seven with uh, just under two minutes left. But if the Kings win this game, they move on to the NBA Finals. We got Pat Beverly from the corner, can't hit that. Big rebound by Tristan Thompson. Halliburton inside, he's blocked. Kevin Garnett isn't even in this game for the Timberwolves right now in crunch time. I'm not sure what they're doing. That's an awful shot. Somehow they get the rebound. And Pat Beverly wide open again, this time he hits it. And the Timberwolves are actually going to stay alive here. And this next game, it's a huge blowout for the Timberwolves. So we actually end up going to a game seven, uh, Sacramento versus the, the minute. So we actually end up going to a game seven in the series. And in our Atlanta Miami series, we go to a game seven as well. Atlanta Miami is our first game. And game seven is just a huge blowout for the Hawks. I was hoping we'd have a close game here. Uh, unfortunately, that, that was not the situation at all, though. And going to our and going to our other series, it's not a blowout, but it's still a pretty big victory here for Minnesota. They're up by 12 points with a minute left, so they're just gonna cruise to the W here and make it onto the NBA Finals. Buddy healed with a big three for the Kings, though. I don't know. Maybe it's possible for them to come back. D'Angelo Russell with the worst shot ever. Why would you not hold on to the ball? See if Buddy Healed can green again. He was kind of open in the corner for a sec. You just gotta put up a shot at this point. Nah, they, there's there's no way they're coming back at this point. Oscar Robertson greens that? What? Also, we still haven't seen Kevin Garnett play. And I'm pretty sure the Kings just put in their backups. They they gave up. Uh, they're, they're making a pretty good comeback. Davion Mitchell misses. And yeah, there we go. Uh, Timberwolves are going to move on to the NBA Finals. And we have yet to see Kevin Garnett play. All right, making it to the NBA Finals, Hawks, Timberwolves, not the two teams I would have picked to make it here at the beginning of this simulation. But here we are. Let's see who wins this thing. Uh, we just simulate. Yeah, we can simulate one game. 1-0 lead for the Hawks. Hawks take a 2-0 lead. There we go. Timberwolves getting a game. Hawks with the 3-1 lead. Timberwolves do get another game on the Hawks. And the next game, they absolutely blow out the Hawks. And Kevin Garnett had 30 rebounds. So we are going to a Game 7 in the NBA Finals. And a little disappointing in the NBA Finals. It is a blowout for the Atlanta Hawks. Up 133 to 109. Only two minutes left. Impossible at this point for the Timberwolves to come back. We finally have Kevin Garnett in the game, though. But Atlanta Hawks are our champions. And, of course, Dominique Wilkins gets a Finals MVP. Uh, 26.1 points, 7.4 rebounds, 4 assists, 1.6 steals, 1.7 blocks. Not the craziest stat line ever. We've definitely seen better in our videos. And I'm just surprised that the Hawks ended up winning that. Like, there's so many good teams. The Celtics, um, I guess the Cavs just pretty much had LeBron. And even the Bulls were a really good team. The Nets, the Bucks, the Heat. None of these teams could defeat the Hawks. And nobody could defeat the Timberwolves either, which is just surprising.
But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. This is Video Royce Mequel, and I'll see you next time. Peace.